Where is terrestrialization? Terra, terra tua, 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 I can't pronounce it. Um, it's somewhere in here. It's it's under like gameplay mechanics or something. See all news. Here it is. Terrestrialization. So, let me let me read it to you. What is the terrestrial phenomenon? This phenomenon is found only in the Paldea region. It makes Pokemon shine and glimmer like gems. When a Pokemon terrestrial is te te pterodactyl, t rectodactylizes uh, I'm going to call it t rectodactyl. When a Pokemon t rectodactylizes uh, a Terra Jewel appears above the Pokemon's head like a crown. The Pokemon's body glistens like a cut gemstone. Uh, it's said that terrestrial energy seeps from the ground of the Paldea region and is involved in the phenomenon. So I'm going to assume we have some kind of rock type or fairy type or whatever type uh, legendary. That's going to be the third legend of this game because that's how we turned this work with Dynamax. Many details remain unclear and in Professor Sada and Tour are researching this mystery. You can see them. Uh, Eevee turns into, I'm assuming that's the normal type terrestrialization just to keep like the diamond. Uh, but we can see the different typings. We have like a chandelier. Uh, we have flowers. We have a water spout. Master terrestrialization and dominate Pokemon battles. Terrestrialization. is uh, the key to victory or defeat in the Paldea region. Uh, all Pokemon in Paldea can terrestrialize to gain special power. Um, first, each Pokemon has a Terra type. A Pokemon's Terra type is inactive until the Pokemon. Uh, at which time the Pokemon will change to its Terra type. For example, some Eevee have a normal Terra type, but other have a flying Terra type. So you can see it's determined not by whatever move you select, but it's like an innate property or inert or whatever the word is. Someone correct me in chat. Is it inert or innate that I'm looking for? I think it's inert. Some kind of property that you already have in your Pokemon that determines what it's going to be. There are 18 types. There are countless combinations of Pokemon and Terra types. t rectodactyl Pokemon allow you to enhance your uh, battle strategies by increasing the power of any move. And hold on, let me go full screen. That's better. Also, it's not better because I somehow made it worse. What? Hold on. There we go. But my thing is off. There we go. Okay, that's that's a little better. All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Uh, 18 types. Uh, uh, t rex to death Pokemon. Like, uh, yeah. All right. So. Terectodactyl Pokemon allow you to enhance your battle strategies by increasing the power of any moves that have the same type as your Pokemon's Terra type. I'm assuming only when you Terectodactyl, uh, or by changing your Pokemon's weaknesses. So you do gain a weakness or resistances based on this type change, which is something that we didn't think looking at leaks, but apparently is true. Um. When to activate the special transformation and the combination of Pokemon and Terra types you choose are all up to you. Find what works best for you to gain the upper hand in battle. So this is notable. Um, you don't have to immediately activate it. For example, uh, I, what I could see is let's say you're using a let, let's go with like a, um, a fighting type. Let, let's go with a Conkelder. Actually, let's go Breloom. Let's hope that Breloom's in this game. I really hope he is. Uh, and you want to go for Force Palm onto a Mega Kangaskhan, but it won't KO if you change into your ghost type uh, b before you do it. So you can strategically force palm, KO the Kangaskhan, and did I say Mega Kangaskhan? That isn't in the game. Uh, but you KO the Kangaskhan, and then in comes, oh no, in, in comes a, uh, let's go with a Persian, right? Persian comes in, you might get faked out. How do you block it? You can terrestrialize right there, and now you're a ghost type and immune to whatever normal move that Persian wants to go for. That's a strategic way you can use it. You don't have to activate it immediately, and that's actually kind of cool. Uh, what I'm hoping is that it, it does activate immediately when you select it, because I'd prefer it to have Dynamax priority than I would Z-move priority, because Z-moves were speed tier dependent, so you change... I want you to change your typing at the beginning of the turn rather than when you use your move. I think that'd be very cool. Hello, Moxie. Hope you're having a good day. Hey, thank you. Uh, ghost type seems pretty strong for fake out. Yeah, like literally being able to avoid fake out seems super cool. Um, I feel like, it, but also you lose like stabs. So like Pokemon that are fake out weak probably won't want to run ghost type in a lot of situations unless they're running like a ghost type moveset specifically built around being ghost type. So let's go with um, Regieleki, right? Let's say you're using a Regieleki, which hates being faked out because you lose your focus sash. You could turn into a ghost type 
But guess what? Now your electric moves aren't nearly as strong because you're losing your previous typing. That kind of sucks. Like, you, you basically are just relying on transistor to make up for the damage. So you keep a stab, but it's not like a really good stab. It's just normal. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, it's it's bad for Regieleki, so you wouldn't want to do it there. Alternatively, Porygon Z. You turn into a ghost type with this thing and you have Shadow Ball on it? Still just as good, arguably better. Uh, obviously, you're more Snarl weak, but yeah, like that, that'd be a situation you could do it. You could... You know, click your um, try attack to KO the Pokemon, and then you see a fake out Pokemon come in. You go, okay, it's Morphin time, uh, and then you do that, and then all of a sudden you're immune to the fake out, and then you can Shadow Ball whatever you want with adaptability. So yeah. All right, um, here it is. It looks like there's no item needed, from what I understand. Uh, so I, I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's fine, honestly. Dynamax not having an item needed felt like a huge oversight, but for this one, it doesn't seem as powerful as Dynamax, like nearly. It almost feels like you're just kind of shifting a Pokemon. Um, you can Terrastalize a Pokemon once per battle, and the transformation will last till the battle ends. When the Terrastalized Pokemon uses a move that matches its Terra type, so, you know, you use a you use a Grass move as your, I don't know, your whatever Pokemon that just turned into a Terra Grass type, and at least one of its original types, Oh wait, sorry, I'm ignore that. When you use a terrestrialized Pokemon that has, yeah, you use a move that matches the Terra type and one of its original types. So let's go with like Porygon Z turning into a normal type, even though it's already a normal type, the boost to that move's power becomes even greater. So what I'm understanding is that your original typings will lose their potency from stab because it, the way that they explain it is you lose your typing. That's how I'm understanding it. So a Shedinja will no longer be bug ghost. It will be electric. You no longer get stab on bug ghost types. However, if you turn into a ghost type, you still get some kind of benefit from it because you get double stab. I'm assuming that you don't keep the stab on your original moves unless you turn into something you already were. So that way it bounces out for Pokemon who don't want to change typings, but still want to be able to take advantage of the, um, of the boost so uh, that's how i understand it uh and if it is 1.5 times the best way to think about it is what i would assume is to be sort of like regieleki where it has stab but it also has 1.5 on it so if regieleki could turn into an electric type it's over it's over i hope it's not in the game <laughs> all right uh so shedinja uh with an air balloon does that break the game i don't listen sh i don't think shedinja yeah all right hear me out shedinja Turning into an electro type with an air balloon, or with an air balloon rat. Yeah, you, you lose all weaknesses and there's no way to pop the balloon without like mold breaker or whatever. But hear me out. We already know that Tyranitar is going to be in the game and name one VGC format, except for like restricted formats because Tyranitar becomes bad in that. We can talk about Shedinja turning into electro type then, but uh, name one non-restricted VGC format where Tyranitar was legal and it wasn't on like almost like a third of the teams shedinja becomes useless against tyranitar when sand is up you just die because you can't run safety goggles because you're running the air balloon because you want to run this gimmick hear me out how about instead of doing that keep your sash make yourself a steel type gain many more resistances uh you don't have as many you you don't have as few weaknesses as electric but you still have a lot of resistances right and you don't have as many weaknesses as uh the original typing would and then you're able to be immune to like, you know, um, you're able to be immune to Sandstorm naturally. I think that's really good. Also, you can't be toxic. That's huge. Not being able to be toxic is actually really, really good for Shininja. If it was a pure steel type, it would go nuts. Latios, Latios turning into Electro type. See, that's what I was thinking. If you want to turn anything into Electro type, make sure it's Latios, Latios, because they have a built-in levitate there. Imagine Latios turning Electro type and then hitting you with like thunder. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. It's Stab, and he has no weaknesses. And he's fast. You need a Terra Orb. Um, it doesn't seem like you have to equip any item onto the Pokemon itself, so that's something to note. Uh, yeah, we're going to just talk about this for the first... For, for the next couple of minutes. I've already gone over, like, the first part, but I'm going to give my opinions uh, on this... on this, on this uh, mechanic as a whole. I don't hate it. And I am a big Dynamax hater, and I'm a big Z-move, not quite enthusiast. This seems fine, in my opinion. There are a lot of... There, there's a lot of potential for jank at the beginning of the format, but we'll slowly figure out what's going to do what, in the same way that Dynamax sort of did it, but with less jank along the way. So hear me out. 
Uh, when we were playing Dynamax, anything could Dynamax at any point in time. And it could use a wide variety of moves. However, um, Ferrothorn, while it would Dynamax at the beginning, stopped Dynamaxing because it was bad. Um, what else stopped Dynamaxing? Dracovish might have Dynamaxed once or twice at the beginning. Never going to Dynamax again. Useless. Urshifu. A lot of people used Rapid Strike Urshifu um, when the Crown Tundra, or not Crown Tundra, when the um, Isle of Armor dropped, and then they would Dynamax it. Not worth it. There are certain Pokemon that won't Dynamax. We learn that. We understand that. Uh, you know, you never Dynamax a Sableye because it's useless. And there are certain Pokemon that will want to Dynamax. Uh, Defiant Thunderous. Groudon. Uh, Duraludon at one point was a very good Dynamax target, and uh, one of the best Dynamax Pokemon in history, Series 1 Gyarados. Um, you know, it would run Moxie and Airstream. Yeah, these were Pokemon that you saw them, and you're like, there's a good chance they're going to Dynamax. And you understood that, based on what your team was running, and uh, what your opponent was running, and you would understand who would Dynamax win. Here, we're talking about Terrastalization. I think that we're going to reach a point where we see a... Let's go with this example. We see a Venusaur, right? There's a Venusaur on the other side of the field and you go, hey, Venusaur is really scary. Because of my experience with the format, I know that a really common way to terastalize a Pokemon is to run a ground type terastalizing Venusaur because you can run the super cool moveset that everyone should run because it's really cool and you need to listen to me right now because it's awesome. Um, I think that this is actually like a legitimate thing that might happen if Venusaur ends up in the game. Which it probably will at some point, even after DLC or Pokemon Home, because, you know, it's Venusaur. It's a Gen 1 Pokemon. I think that turning Venusaur into a ground type is actually a bit of a game changer. Yes, it becomes weak to grass types and other Venusaur. However, as a ground type that has double speed in the sun, because let's say you have like a Torkoal next to it, right? You still are able to deal massive damage to things with your very powerful Earth Power. You could even terastalize this thing to turn into a fire type and then go for weather balls in the sun and just be absolutely obnoxious with that. There's a lot of different ways to run Venusaur. Um, obviously, this is more of an offensive case of terastalization, but becoming a ground type does make you immune to Regieleki Electroweb or any other kind of Electroweb speed control. And it um, makes it so your weaknesses aren't nearly as prevalent because of the sun out. Uh, means that yes you have double speed but now your water weakness is curbed you still have access to leaf storm like you originally did so you have ways of beating that weather ball allows you to hit uh grass types that would threaten you otherwise you still have a lot of options like that's like a really cool way of uh running this this gimmick so yeah thoughts in chat let me look at it. let me look at your guys stuff it might be too jank if every single mod become any of the 18 types, and regardless of that, it has the potential to become a guessing game, but other than that, I'm optimistic about it. See, that's what I mean. At the beginning, it's 100% going to be that. Towards like the middle of the format, as soon as something develops, you're going to know what something is going to be. Let's go with 75% of the time. Same thing as like Dynamax, but it but they don't gain nearly as much defensive benefit as Dynamax, so it won't it won't lose you a game for not realizing that a Landorus is all of a sudden become, gonna become like a steel type, right? It's not gonna lose you a game. It'll put you in a bad position, maybe, but uh, in most cases, you're gonna be able to recover from that much easier than you would in, you know, Dynamax's case. I do have a couple of other things I wanna share. Uh, if we're talking about like Pokemon that would wanna terrestrialize, uh, let's go ahead and also I just realized this is now offset. Why is my thing so messed up? Hold on. There we go. No, there's a white bar at the top now. Come on. No, I messed that up too. Hold on. Jordan, behave. Is that it? No, because now there's a bar at the bottom. Dang it, Jordan. Calm yourself. Okay, that's fine. That'll work. That's better, right? <sighs> okay. Terra Ghost is going to cause some upsets with the double immunity it grants. That's true, but um, I don't think there are a lot of things that want a Terra Ghost. I, I talked about this at the beginning, but yeah. Uh, other things that want a Terra. I think Steelix is actually a really funny Terra. <laughs> you can do um, Iron Defense Body Press and have the strongest Body Press in the game because it's got 200 uh, defense. If you really wanted to do like a relaxed... Uh, Iron Defense Steelix, because Steelix's body presses at plus two already hurt. They already hurt really bad. Now imagine if they had a 50% boost on top of them because of the terrestrialization. That's absurd. 
um, ice types actually benefit from this quite a bit because ice is like the worst type in the game right now. Just being able to use an ice type as a different type, some of them are literally only balanced by virtue of being such a bad type. Some of them would be broken if they weren't ice types. Uh, Glacier is a good example of this. Glacier has absurd stats. It is. It feels like a restricted in a non-restricted format. Um, and yeah, like if, if it were able to turn itself into like a ground type, like if you terrestrialize and start going for high horsepower and you still keep like Icicle Crash if you really want, um, close combat, it could, it could even become like one of the most absurd fighting types if it really wanted to. 145 attack, 130 defense, 110 special defense. You could assault vest this thing and it'd be stupid. Um, yeah, it just gets a lot of tools. Lash out, you could become a dark type. Actually, here's something that I wanted to, um, a lot of Pokemon will want to be dark type in my opinion. Dark type is one of the best types in the game just due to passive um, effects it has. Uh, mainly, one, you're resisting Ghost, one of the best offensive types. You are um, immune to all prankster moves, which is really cool. And you are immune to Psychic, one of uh, the better offensive typings, in my opinion. In, in recent formats, Psychic has been very good. So I guess a prime example of this would be... Um, if you get a dark move, let's go with... Let's go with knockoff, right? Non-dark types that get knockoff... That would want to do something with this. Um, da, 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 da. Cassimian could be a pretty good example. I'm trying to think. Maybe like other dark moves. Um, Darkest Lariat. Yeah, there are a couple of Pokemon I could see here becoming dark type. For one, you avoid the burn now because many of the burn Pokemon in um, recent VGC are prankster Pokemon. Uh, so being able to take like a Regigigas and terrestrialize it to become a dark type, now it's dark as Lariat, hurts a lot more. Um, it has a reliable stab because Facade is your best stab beyond Giga Impact in the current format. So having access to 80 base power, 85 base power that ignores like defense drops is actually really big for Regigigas. Uh, and yeah, I think it also, while it is already like immune to Calyrex Shadow, it makes it a pretty cool Calyrex Shadow check. My understanding is that you have to catch the Pokemon with the Terra type, so there's no way to add that type onto a Pokemon that wasn't caught with it, at least not as far as we know in the main games. Is that accurate? As of right now, that's what we understand, but that's also how uh, Gigantamax worked for the longest time. There's a solid chance that there's going to be a post-game area where you can do it, if not DLC area where you can fix it. My money is on post-game. I think post-game will allow you to fix it. Probably at a, at a steep price, though. Not like, you know, real money, but like the, the currency in game is what I assume. Um, Tyranitar is another interesting case of terrestrialization might being pretty good for, uh, might be, might possibly being good for a Pokemon. Tyranitar has absurd amounts of coverage. If we just look at its uh, moves, it has uh, fighting coverage, it has steel coverage. I think that Tyranitar could actually turn into a pretty oppressive steel type. It keeps its sandstream weakness. Yes, it becomes less specially defensive, but also switching from steel or switching to steel from rock re uh, removes a lot of the weaknesses that you would otherwise deal with. Um, something else, Pokemon that have access to recover and any kind of like steel type coverage move. Let's go with Flash Cannon. All of a sudden, let's go with like a good HP stat, right? All of a sudden become a lot more annoying to deal with. Let's do, oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, I forgot about you. You're definitely in the game. Cryogonal is actually a very good Pokemon based off of its stats. Yes, it's weak on the physical side, but imagine this thing turns into a steel type and you get flash cannon, you get recover, you don't get toxic, right? You get icy wind still. Um, and you still get, uh, do you get meteor beam? You get some kind of rock coverage, right? Or you should get like ancient power. You can get ancient power and just deal with like uh, Charizard like that. You're a steel type that beats Charizard. Check it out, right there. Right there, check that out. As far as singles goes, um, Starmie is kind of interesting. I think steel type Starmie is also like a very cool thing that you could do. Um, this is, this is for all the few single players that watch my channel. I do have respect for the singles players. Becoming a Steel type is actually pretty cool. Flash Cannon, Scald, Recover, uh, Rapid Spin. That's like a thing that you could do. That's a set. So yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna go with a good typing. Heresy, exactly. Let's look at, guys, name a Pokemon with a bad typing and we'll just go ahead and take a look at it as like, um, as like a, uh, uh, what's it called? A Terrastal Pokemon. Cause this is actually pretty interesting. Yeah, Avalog is definitely one that we could take a look at. Becoming Steel type could be very good because it definitely has Heavy Slam. Dude, Galarian Stunfisk. <laughs> Articuno? All right, Articuno is one that I actually don't know if it'll be good as a Terrasto Pokemon, mainly because uh, Articuno does not get much coverage. The better your coverage is, the better of a Terrasto Pokemon you're going to be. This thing has like almost exclusively Ice and Flying moves. This is going to be a rare a rare Pokemon that doesn't benefit. Grass Heatran could be interesting because you keep Flash Fire. Are we assuming they become pure type or do we add it on top of their base? From what we understand, you lose all your typings, but you uh, get the new one. So you just change your typing altogether. Executor, ho -Oh. uh, Let's take a look at Frostmoth. That's what I actually tweeted about today. Frostmoth has an incredible ability. Ice Skills cuts the damage from special attacks in half just right off the bat. That's stupid. That is a stupid ability to give to anything that was good. Luckily, it's an ice bug type. Falls over to a, falls over to a rock move, falls over to a steel move, fall, falls over to a fire move. How do we make Frostmoth good? In my opinion, fairy type is actually one of the best ways to do this. You can do Giga Drain, Dazzling Gleam, uh, Quiver Dance, and Hurricane if you really wanted to. I don't know if Hurricane's great, but you can probably run it to beat a few Pokemon. You can really, you know, experiment with it. Uh, but you could do something like Leftovers. Um, you only need 112. Actually, let's go Timid. You only need to outspeed Calyrex Shadow if it's in the game at plus two. So 112 is probably the speed tier you want to hit. And then you max out your HP and put the rest into special attack. All of a sudden now, not only are you able to deal with like tons of things just by you know, being a pure steel type with good special defense. Uh, but also you're able to be a steel type or not steel type, a good fairy type with good special defense, but also you're a fairy type with access to quiver dance, which is unprecedented. <laughs> um, but yeah. Toxtricity. I actually think Toxtricity is something that wants to turn to a normal type, but rather than talk about Toxtricity, I want to talk about Noivern. Noivern is a Pokemon that benefits so much from becoming a normal type. This thing has Boom Burst. This thing's got Boom Burst and it's got a really good speed, ta uh, speed stat. Tailwind, Protect, Boom Burst next to like a Ghost type, and Hurricane or Draco Meteor, your choice. If this thing is able to get Stab Boom Burst off a 97 special attack, it's going to hit like a truck. I just want you guys to keep in mind, the Pokemon that get Boom Burst and use it the best typically are actually Pokemon that don't have normal typing. Look at it. The, the normal type with the highest special attack set is 91. Let's say Toxtricity is able to turn into a normal type and then click Boom Burst off of uh, Punk Rock. What is it? That's 1.3 times 1.5 uh, times 140. That is, that's a very strong Boom Burst and it hits everything. So you want a Ghost type next to it. So yeah. Um, do you think that instead of banning Terra in its entirety, it would be bans on certain Terra types? I think that honestly, if you're playing Smogon singles where these side of things do get banned, it's, I don't think that this thing's going to get banned. I think that this is one of the more balanced gimmicks we've ever had. It's literally just changing a typing. In most cases, it's just changing a typing. In some cases, it's gaining adaptability. It's one or the other. I don't think anything is going to become absurdly busted off of this, but you know, only time will tell. Are you forgetting about Robombi and has Quiver Dance and Ferret typing? Okay, but Robombi does not have good stats. And it doesn't have, it doesn't have like an amazing ability. I get Sweet Veil's really good, but it doesn't have Ice Scales. Ice Scales is a, it's a busted ability. As far as popular Terra typings, I'm gonna say uh, Steel, Ghost, Dark. I don't think Fire is gonna be very common. I think Fire is actually quite bad, but yeah. Is getting adaptability broken for anything? I'm thinking stuff like Kyogre or Kali Ice. Um, yeah, but we don't have to deal with that for a while. And honestly, the thing is, this grants so much creative team building. Um, yes, there will be a metagame that develops. That's how it always works. We're always going to have certain Pokemon that are standard. But even the most busted Pokemon, let's go uh, Let's go with Calyrex Shadow, right? Calyrex Shadow, one of the most busted Pokemon we've ever seen. I could use Zacian, but Zacian isn't going to ever have a counter um, unless we bring back. Actually, you know what? Guys, I found it. Look, we have Primal Groudon back. 
he turned into a fire type and now he can beat Zacian. Anyways, um, Caloric Shadow, right? One of the best Pokemon in the game. Does it lose hard to certain Pokemon? Yes, but does it still deal a lot of damage? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a Pokemon with a good special defense stat that can take that on, and there are actually quite a few options. Now, what I want is a good Pokemon with a special defense stat that has access to, let's go with Darkest Lariat. Darkest Lariat, special defense stat. Our best option, or our best option is Dusknoir. However, I do want a little bit more attack on that. All right, let's go with, um, I think that we could do, uh, actually there are a few options, but Regigigas is the example I put on earlier. You obviously you need like a, a wheezing for that, but yeah, Regigigas could do that. Uh, let's, let's do uh, another Zacian example. Zacian's a very busted Pokemon. What typing uh, is able to wall out Zacian? Well, we have a few options. We have Water uh, for Behemoth Blade, but Player Off's also an issue, so we would want to do Steel. And then we only have to really deal with like Sacred Sword, if that's the case. Uh, so obviously, I think Steel type's like the best option for it. Water Bug is technically the best, but um, yeah. All right, uh, or not Water Bug. Water Fire is technically the best, so Volcanion if it existed, but uh, let's go with a Pokemon with a good defense stat. And now, from these Pokemon with a good defense stat, let's look for fire, fire move. So let's go with uh, Overheat. Pokemon with Overheat, that's actually a pretty well distributed move for what it is. Uh, we could, we could. Du -du 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 -du. I probably wanna go into national decks if we're being honest. Actually, let's go into speed stat. There are Pokemon that are like on par. You know, all right, this was, this one's gonna be a little bit tougher. Let's go with like Earth Power. Earth Power, right? That's actually a well-distributed move. Uh, one with a high special attack or a high defense. Um, I guess Lugia would count. Okay, yeah, you wanna be, you wanna beat Zacian? Go ahead, turn your Lugia into, I, I'm, I'm a Lugia hater, I'm sorry. It, it feels, it, this, this is painful to actually talk about. Turn your Lugia into a ground type. Smack it with an earth power off your base ugh, 90. Uh, 90 special attack. It's going to hurt. And you could actually eat a hit from Zacian a little bit well. Uh, but you could also, you know, turn into a steel type. I'm pretty sure it gets something good here. I don't know. You can also like mix and match. You don't necessarily need stab. You could just be like a Pokemon that walls out Zacian by typing. So yeah, uh, let's go with like... Let's go with like just turning yourself into a fire type, but having access to a move that beats Zacian. So Pokemon with overheat. Let's do that again. Pokemon with overheat. Now we can turn into like a steel type, right? Arcanine. Arcanine can turn into a steel type, resist the fairy. Obviously then, you know, you are weak to, um, you are weak to like, you know, the fighting move, but it doesn't matter quite as much. Incineroar turning into a steel type would be a little bit busted for this situation. But yeah, you guys kind of get my point, right? Like I said, Zacian's a little bit hard to deal with, but if something broken uh, comes about, all of a sudden, you know, you have tons of options for beating it. And you can sort of identify what things do in, pre in Team Preview. But yeah, those are my initial thoughts. Um, yeah, those, those are my initial thoughts on how this is going to affect the metagame. Uh, obviously, we have to, you know, still play it we still have to get a little bit more information and we still have to uh mess around with it to understand how it's going to be good how it's going to be bad we'll figure it out that is that is news for down the road but uh those are my thoughts let me know what you guys think uh if you're watching this on youtube comment down below if you're watching this on twitch uh put a heart in chat for all the youtube viewers uh and yeah i will see you guys in the next one